In this video, we will discuss campaign themes. They are very important so that you can have consistent message across the board throughout the entire customer journey. And sometimes you can't stay on the same theme forever. And that's why you need to change them and shake them up a little bit. But you can still keep the core and um, change the sides. Uh, so uh, that's why in this video, I'll show you some of the uh, details behind campaign themes. Right, first, again, we can start with a quote, this one again by our favorite friend, David Ogilvy. Every advertisement should be thought of as a contribution to the complex symbol, which is the brand image. This is, I think, a very fitting quote for what themes are about. You are always presenting the brand with any copy, with any message that you put out, with anything that goes out, you are presenting your brand. And so all of it should be a contribution to the main brand image and to the core of your company. So when talking about campaign thing, uh, campaign themes, I have a great quote from Vern Harnish. I definitely recommend you read his book um, on scaling companies. It's very, very useful. And you can see that we are on the same uh, page for a lot of things because we do think the same, um, especially in terms of the tools. Now, what he says is that the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing, which I definitely agree with and it plays perfectly with teams. So what's the idea behind Teams? You should try to have consistent communication and talk about the same core uh, thing, the main thing, throughout all the stages of the customer journey from awareness to advocacy. And then that could be probably if you are a new company or if you are the new marketing manager, it's probably a good idea to start. So the first theme that you should talk about is your X factor or your secret sauce. If you think about some of the most um, famous companies in the world, if it's Coca-Cola, it's a lot about, uh, first they talked a lot about the original because the, their recipe was very secret. Then they moved on to the general concept behind togetherness, like uh, campaigns about sharing, campaigns with different names, uh, two bottles of Coke that open uh, each other and so on. All of this concept behind happiness and togetherness is, is what they were focusing on. Milka has always been focusing on the Alpine milk. Lego has always been focusing on creativity, which is what their X factor is. It's, it's not just a toy, it's something that teaches your um, kid creativity. And so these are the campaign themes. And uh, as we are going to make a demonstration later on with uh, Masters Academy and Startup Masters, our own X factor is the digital performance marketing model. Right, so next, um, once that's ran its course, which could be years, by the way, it does not have to go uh, very quickly. You can um, think about some things that are new, fresh, exciting, like new features and so on. But you should always kind of keep the core at the core and change the sides. So what I mean by that is, for example, if you take um, Apple, they have always stood uh, for exceptional uh, products because they, they, at their core, they are focusing at changing the status quo. And so with everything that they release, that same core is the same, uh, but the, the sides are changing, you know. Um, they are talking about the new things, the new features and so on, but the core, the main thing always stays the main thing. And uh, when uh, talking about campaign themes, you can also sometimes focus not on the product itself, but the values of the company like Apple and Milk are doing. Um, and uh, for example, Coca-Cola uh, Coca is focusing on togetherness and happiness. Dove is focusing on confidence. And so you should think about what's that thing uh, that's most convincing um, and use that as the main theme of your copy. Sometimes it's a very interesting story. 
uh, and it could be the story of your life, how you, you got to a certain discovery, uh, how you invented the product, or how you started the company, what are the struggles that you have been through, and so on. This storytelling is, I think, really powerful. And you can construct the theme, and there's pretty much always a place for story storytelling, right? So even if you start with an ad uh, that's supposed to just grab their attention, introduce them to your product, there's always a place for the story later on in the customer journey when the customers are already your customers. Um, the story is something very interesting to add, to engage them more, uh, to make them uh, feel like a part of your brand, uh, to make them feel like they know you. And this is why revealing um, personal things in stories is actually a great idea. And um, here, the next one I want to talk about is the unifying theory, not of two plus two, but of everything. And this is uh, a theory behind segments. Um, so I have a lot of these theories. Uh, I, I have been working a lot on marketing and I am trying to innovate uh, where I can. So what stands behind this idea is that uh, you can have many different segments of customers. So you can't grab their attention and um, and they may be wanting the same thing. The solution might be the same. Your product might be the same, just like we have Masters Academy at the core is education and learning everything about um, digital marketing and how it should be done the right way, right? But some people want it to get a job, some people want it to get better, some people want it to start a business, some want it to improve their business. And so uh, these different segments of people want different things. So the idea behind the unifying theory of everything is that you can have one solution for all of these different segments, but on the sides you should have different messages. So you're still having your campaign theme and let's say for, um, just to give you an example for the students, for people who, future marketers who want to learn marketing right now, maybe you're one of them, uh, for them, we would have something like, um, do you know that uh, digital performance marketing is the one model uh, which helps companies succeed and every successful digital marketing company is actually using it? So that could be something that would grab their interest. For marketers, um, we could maybe make a comparison between, uh, um, or maybe ask a question, are you stuck just doing Facebook ads? Do you wanna have a bigger impact on the business, make a bigger salary or you know get a promotion or maybe uh, do that? And then the solution would be the same. So that's what I mean by uh, the unifying theory of everything. And this is very connected to what Vern is saying here uh, to keep the main thing, the main thing. Uh, it's kind of a all roads lead to Rome uh, type of idea. And that's why I wanted to mention that. And the idea behind campaign themes is to have a consistent message across the board. So we are going to use a campaign theme in the example. Uh, in this case, I'll do the example with uh, Masters Academy again, because it's uh, new, it's fresh, and it's something that we don't have the solution yet. And so we'll be able to develop it throughout the course and show you guys how um, we really do things in practice when we don't know what has already happened. It's sometimes very easy uh, to give you the solution with a case study when we have struggled for a year to find the answer and tell you, hey, that's the answer, you know? But I think it's a lot more educational for you to go through the process when we are wondering, thinking about it, being unsure about certain things. Uh, and in this way, you can see how our process really goes. And this will really help you feel a lot more confident when you start doing it, because you know that the other guys, even the best in the business are not some kind of magical wizards that flip a wand and everything starts working. We have to go through that process again and again. And um, I think what makes us better than others is that um, we have a system for it and we go through that process. We know the process very well and we go through it very quickly and we have kind of made a system for it to, to go through it very quickly. And that's what um, 
makes us successful. So in this case, the campaign theme uh, that we are going to use for our exercise session uh, will be the digital performance marketing. And we are going to try to communicate that to all the different uh, segments and kind of tie it up together, maybe add a story and uh, show you how, uh, first of all, how we are going to prepare all the campaign, then how we are going to um, prepare the ads, how we are going to present the brand, tell the brand story and all of that. But we'll do that in the next videos.